eating nuts as part of a healthy diet is good for your heart. They're also a super nutritious snack for any time of the day. But what about all that fat? Be fearful not of fat, as not only is the type of fat found in nuts considered healthy, but a major systematic review finds a little impact of eating nuts on body weight. And that's what I'll cover in today's episode. Nuts can be a healthy addition to any diet. And even though nuts are high in fat, most of this is the healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated types. That's probably one of the reasons, along with their fiber and vitamin E content, that why there is such a positive link between regular nut eating and a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. And here, nuts could be helping to lower LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels, which play a major role in the buildup of deposits of plaques in the arteries. Nuts can also help lower levels of inflammation linked to heart disease, as well as reduce the risk of developing blood clots, which can lead to a heart attack and death. All nuts appear to be generally healthy, though some may have more heart-healthy nutrients than others. For example, walnuts contain high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, so that could be one reason. Almonds, macadamias, hazelnuts and pecans also appear to be quite heart-healthy. But really, there's a good case to promote a variety of nuts in your diet in the first place. So, nuts are good for your heart. But what about your weight? Well, I'm one person who is glad we've left the well-meaning era of low-fat advice behind us. Because such advice on its own ignores the nutritional merits of a food. And here, nuts really do shine with the research building for some years that they are not a factor to worry about much when it comes to weight gain. In fact, the opposite could be true. And that was the topic of a recent systematic review and meta-analyses looking at nuts and body weight across both observational studies and randomized control trials. And I'll link to this review in the show notes. And there was an astounding amount of research that could be examined. There were six observational studies and 86 randomized controlled trials included. You heard correctly, 86 randomized controlled trials where nut consumption was the key difference between two random groups of people. And some of those RCTs ran for up to two years. Almonds, walnuts, and pistachios were the most common nuts eaten. But you could also find studies that used a bunch of other popular nuts, as well as mixed nuts. And here is all you need to know about the results. Eating nuts was linked with a lower risk of weight gain if you used just the observational research. And the evidence rating for it was considered moderate. But moving on to the more powerful randomized controlled trials, of which there were many, there was no impact of eating nuts on body weight, and the evidence rating for this was considered high. And pleasing to see, as the amount of nuts eaten went up, it was more likely that body weight and body fat was lost. So, the big question, why is it so? There are three very plausible mechanisms to explain why nuts even though being a high-fat food, don't contribute to weight gain. The first is their unsaturated fatty acid content, which is suggested to be more readily oxidized and have a greater thermogenic effect. The second reason is an effect on hunger and fullness. Nuts help to suppress hunger, meaning you're more likely to eat less. And this effect is due to the protein, fat and fiber content of nuts. And the final one is certainly one that gets my attention. It is to do with the physical structure of the nut, which affects the bioavailability of nutrients, in particular the fat. Thanks to the complex cellular structure, the fat in nuts may not be completely digested and absorbed by the body. When less fat is absorbed, it means that less energy from nuts is absorbed too. And there has been some interesting research showing that when whole nuts are eaten and not fully chewed, less of the fat is absorbed. It also likely explains why in previous research, the benefits of nuts on weight regulation may not transfer to homogenized spreads like peanut butter, 
This could be because of the more processed nature of this food and the breaking down of the cellular structure, meaning more of the fat is available for digestion and absorption, compared to whole nuts, where some of that fat can pass through the intestinal tract undigested. So let's wrap all this up. Snacking on nuts, especially in place of less healthy convenient snack foods, is a simple and healthy way to prevent the slow insidious weight gain that can happen with aging. The Australian Dietary Guidelines recommend 30 grams of nuts on most days of the week. A single handful of nuts will get you to that 30 gram serving. Too easy. So that's it for today's show. You can find the show notes either in the app you're listening to this podcast on, if it supports it, or else head over to my webpage at thinkingnutrition.com.au and click on the podcast section to find this episode to read the show notes. If you find this podcast of value, then please consider sharing it with your friends and colleagues, or maybe even leave a review. This all helps increase the ranking and reach of the podcast, which means a big win for credible, evidence-based nutrition messages while helping to dilute out the crazy and making the world a slightly less confusing place. I'm Tim Crow, and you've been listening to Thinking Nutrition.